Once again, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy S10 5G. Actually, I was getting a lot of messages that people are trying to flash the One UI 7 portrait ROM, the extreme ROM on the S10 5G, but they are getting type of errors during flashing. Well, I have uh, already flashed the One UI 7 portrait ROM on my Galaxy S10 5G. And today I'm going to show how to flash. Now, those who have S10 5G, uh, and they know that or they have flashed the custom ROM there and the SIM card is working properly, they can flash the One UI 7 ROM. But those who have S10 5G, any Korea variant, and if, they, if the mobile phone is having auto patch firmware, then do not try to flash any custom ROM because the ROM will get flashed, but the SIM card or network will not be working anymore. If the mobile phone is CPID, then you can flash the custom ROM, the SIM card will be working. So the One UI 7 ported ROM, the extreme ROM is actually pre-rooted. There is no need to root the ROM. You can install the modules, any modules you like to install or you want to make the device certified, you can do that. So here is the settings interface, Galaxy AI features available with the ROM. And if I go to about phone, well, the ROM is ported from the S25 Ultra. So the model that currently you can see on my mobile phone is actually S938P. But this is S10 5G. This is not S25 Ultra. And after tapping the software information, the phone that currently I have is actually updated to One UI 7.0 Android 15, the Google Play system update, here, which can be updated manually, baseband version provided, and the build number, Extreme ROM 1.0. And this is the code name of the S10 5G beyond, the, beyond X, right? Now, one more thing. Currently, the model number that I have is actually G977N. There are two variants, G977B and G977N. But the ROM that I have installed on the S10 5G can be installed on both variant. The particular Auden TWRP recovery can be flashed on both variant. Now, those who have this S10 5G and want to install the One UI 7, want to update the mobile phone unofficially to One UI 7 Android 15, watch the further video. Now, those who are getting help from my videos, do not forget to like the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, click or tap the subscribe button, click or tap the bell icon, click or tap the select all. Thank you so much. So, these are the pre-install applications coming with the ROM. The notification center and the control center of the One UI 7. This is almost stable ROM. Like we can use this ROM as a daily driver. The camera application is almost working. We can record videos. We can take pictures from the front camera and from the rear camera. So here is my downloaded folder where I have downloaded all the files. This is the Extreme ROM Nexus version 1.0 for the Beyond X like Korea variant S10 5G. Extreme ROM Nexus TWRP Odin Pack for the G977. This TWRP can be flashed on G977N, G977B. Exynos 9820 Cleaner File, the Repartition File, the Odin and uh, there is no need to platform tools. So I will delete this platform tools. Now let me show how to download these files. Link provided in my video description. After clicking the link, this website will get open. Now the file password is also provided on this website. I have been asked quite a lot of times that uh, provide the password, provide the password. Well, the password is already provided. When you click the link, this website will get open. You can see that go file website password is extreme rom nexus 2025 we have to copy this particular password from here and then come down here first is s10e second is s10 read the code name also and the third one is s10 plus and this one is s10 5g if you see the code name is beyond x right Click this link. After clicking the link, the website will get open. You will see password is already there. Just select the password, delete it, 
and then paste the newly copied password from the that website that I have just done. Press Ctrl V, the password will get pasted. Click unlock. Now you will see categorize folder. First, I will click on origin pack folder. Then I will click on S10 and you will see that there are few files provided. Well, I will go with the G977 because I have the Korea variant model G977. This particular TWRP file, origin pack file will work on both variant, right? If you have G977B or if you have G977N, click this file to download it and then click go, click back to go back. Once again, click back. Now click on the repartition. Well, you will ask that this repartition folder is only for the S10 only, but the S10 5G is also getting same error like flushing the rom on s10 so we have to we have to use the repartition files on s10 5g as well click this repartition folder then download both files from the, this folder the repartition and the cleaner right then go back and then click rom folder then click on s10 folder and download the rom file with a code name beyond x this one this beyond x code name of s10 5g click this file to start downloading it now let me tell you that if you are unknown that you have the samsung usb driver installed on your windows or not then i will provide via the link in my video description download the samsung invite usb driver and install it on your windows if you have already one then there is no need to reinstall. Now, starting the procedure, first of all, extract the Odin. Then open the extracted folder of the Odin. And then double click the Odin file to open it. Click OK on this pop up window. And then Odin. Click any slot. I will go with AP slot. And then I will go to my downloaded folder. And I will select the Odin pack dot tar file by double clicking on it now odin is almost ready to flash the recovery file coming back towards the mobile phone now we have to do few steps before flashing the rom now the most important thing that your mobile phone must have an unlock bootloader right the second thing is to check the mobile phone battery it must be charged and then Make sure that save all the data, otherwise the data will get formatted because I will advise you to do the neat and clean flashing. Must save all the internal storage data. If you have any recent call list, you want to make a backup or if you want to backup your messages, then there are applications available on the Play Store like making a backup of the messages and recent call list. Now connect internet on your mobile phone. These are the steps that I am going to show can be done on any ROM like if you have stock firmware or if you have any One UI custom ROM must do these steps that I am going to show. Now we have to go to settings after connecting internet on the mobile phone. Like on the stock firmware, if you can see that software update, tap or click the software update to let the mobile phone check the software update. Then go to about phone, then go to software information and tap the build number for seven times. The developer mode will be turned on. Go back to settings, then go to developer options. You will see OEM unlocking is there. If OEM unlocking is off, then make sure to turn it on. Then go back and go to accounts backup. Manage accounts. In case if you are using Samsung account, sync your Samsung account if you want, then must remove it to avoid issues. Same way, sync your Google account once, then must remove it to avoid issues later on. Then go back and then go to lock screen and uh, turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe now you can simply power off the mobile phone well the s10 5g is old mobile phone and uh, there must be issues with the buttons make sure to press the buttons 
properly during booting the mobile phone into different modes. Now, the mobile phone is supposed to be totally power off. Use a good quality of data cable. Other side of the cable must be connected with computer. Now, we have to boot the phone into Odin mode. Press the volume down key and big B key properly, right? Then connect the cable with the mobile phone. When you see a warning screen, release both keys. Then press the volume up key once to boot the phone into Odin mode. So the phone is booted into Odin mode, connected already with the computer. On the computer screen, the Odin detected the mobile phone. Go to options, untick auto reboot, then go back to log. Click start to start flashing the Odin pack recovery file. Pass means that done. Click exit and go back to downloaded folder. Now coming back once again to the mobile phone. The phone is still booted into Odin mode. Now we have to boot the phone into custom recovery from the Odin mode. Make sure do not disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. Now once again I will say that make sure to press the all the buttons that I am going to show or I am going to press properly. Otherwise, if any button did not press properly, the phone will not get boot into the custom recovery or any other uh, mode, right? So we have to press all the buttons like volume up key, volume down key and uh, power key. Make sure to press it properly. This is the correct way to hold the mobile phone and to press the buttons. Volume up, volume down, big speed key and power key. When mobile phone restart, then release the volume down key first. When mobile phone logo, Samsung logo appears, then release the power key. Okay. Now just wait for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release both keys. Wait, the phone will boot into TWRP. Recovery screen appears, swipe to allow modifications. First step we have to do is to tap wipe, then tap format data, type YES tap here. When done, go back to main screen, tap reboot and tap recovery. Once again, swipe to allow modifications. The internal storage will get appears on your computer screen. Now go back to downloaded folder and first Copy the repartition file only from the downloaded folder. Then go to your internal storage of the mobile phone and paste the file. Now come to the mobile phone screen. Tap install. Select the file repartition by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing. So the flashing will get start and it will uh, automatically reboot the mobile phone when the repartition flashing done. Once again swipe to allow modifications. Now tap wipe and tap format data. We have to repeat the format data pro step. Now type YES over here and tap the, the arrow key. We have to repeat the format data step after flashing the repartition file. Now go back to main screen once again and tap reboot and tap recovery. Swipe to allow modifications and this time you will see the internal storage will get appears once again. Go back to downloaded folder and copy the ROM file, extreme ROM file beyond X and the cleaner file from the downloaded folder. Then go to your internal storage of the mobile phone and paste both files on the internal storage of the mobile phone. Copying of files will take a little time. I got both files copied on my internal storage of my mobile phone. So right now I am done from the computer. Coming back towards the mobile phone. Disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. Unlock the TWRP screen. Swipe to unlock, then tap install and select the cleaner file by tapping on it. Then swipe to start flashing. So the mobile phone will get auto reboot when the cleaner file flashing done.
Now, once again, swipe to allow modifications. Now, on the main screen of the recovery, tap settings, then go to third menu and make sure must make the screen time out to maximum, right? Then go back to main screen, simply tap install and uh, tap the ROM file to select and then swipe to start flushing it. Now the flushing will take a time. So you will have to wait here. Now here I want you to keep your eyes on the mobile phone. Do not let the screen gets off. Just tap the screen. So flushing got completed and definitely you will see that script succeeded updating partitions details done no errors came right now here the important thing is to do wipe cache delvic after flushing the rom must do this step otherwise maybe maybe the rom will not start boot and the mobile phone will uh, stuck on the s10 5g logo when done then tap reboot system Well, first boot completed. I got the One UI 7 ROM on the S10 5G. Complete the setup screen. After selecting the language, then we have to select the country. In case if the country is not listed in this list, then you can simply go to any country. Like I will go with the United Kingdom. Then tap restart. Continue completing the setup screen. The S25 wallpaper you can see on the S10 5G. The ROM caught flash very smoothly. All things done very smoothly. I can see the new control center and uh, these are the pre installed applications. We'll tap these settings. I will make a change in my display. I will bold the font because I like to the bold font and then I will go back to about phone. Same ROM, same model name S938B, port it from the S25 Ultra. We'll tap the software information and once again I got One UI 7.0 Android 15 and the build number Extreme ROM Nexus 1.0. Beyond X, model number is G977N. Do not forget to like the video, subscribe my channel also. Thank you so much. Take a good care of yourself. Goodbye.